Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarai and today we are going to create another fall makeup look and this is using Hip Dot Adam's Family Collection. This collection comes with an eyeshadow palette and three different lipstick shades. I am using one of the lipsticks and of course I am using that shimmer shade which is part of the palette. If you're interested in seeing how I created this look, please get comfortable. Also make sure that you give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like watching the content that I create. So we are going to get right into it. As usual, I've already prepped my face and my lids. So the first palette that I'm gonna go with today is this Ultimate Utopia by NYX Cosmetics. And I believe I'm only going to use this one for one shade and it is that I think that's some kind of gray. It kind of looks like grayish, bluish. I am not, yeah, more like a grayish, I think. So that is going to be the color that I am going to use as my transition shade. So I'm gonna grab that with this brush from Real Techniques. This is number 301. <laughs> all right, so I am going to just apply that all over the lid. Wow. Well, I know I've already used this palette in my channel, but you can see that that is very pigmented and a pretty color as well. Now we're gonna go with the main palette, which is this one from Hip Dub Cosmetics and it is the Adams Family Palette. This is what the shades look like, absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't have a mirror. The palette is a little bit on the chunkier side. I just wanted to bring that up, but it's such a pretty palette. I actually, let me show you real quick before we go into the makeup look, um, the box that everything came in because I thought it was really, really cute. So it has three different lipsticks um, once we get to the lipstick portion, I might show you, but this is what, this is where the palette came in, and that's what it looks like on the back. Once you open it, look at how gorgeous that is. And then it has the three shades on top. And this is just the box where the palette came in. I just wanted to leave it there, but isn't it so pretty? So now we're gonna go into the palette and I think I'm gonna go in with the black. Now I'm lightly going to tap into that shade because I don't want it to be too, too dark. I'm gonna go with a different brush. This is from, I think this is Moda Cosmetics. Yeah, Moda Pro and this is Detail Brush BMX 420. So once again, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that dark shade. And I am going to apply that on the outer corner of my lid. So forget that brush. We're going to go with this one from Morphe instead. This is that brush that doesn't have a number. And I was showing you the highlight, which I'm using as a mirror. Excuse that. So I'm going to go in with the black shade. Lightly tap into that because I don't want it to be too dark. And now I'm just going to blend it. Oh, I can't wait to see how this looks. I have never created a look like this. Um, I don't think I've ever used a black shade. Like, I've used them in the past, like, on my waterline, but never on my lids. I've always been so intimidated by blacks and even by grays. So... But it doesn't mean that it's not something that I haven't wanted to try. Sometimes, you know, we have to push ourselves and just try different things. Okay, so what I'm doing now is taking the shade Moon and applying that on my crease.
All right, so lashes are done, but I do wanna make a mention of the brand. These are from Hero Lash and the style that I'm wearing today are Hero. Um, this is my very first time using magnetic lashes and I am impressed. They came with this glue. It is the Hero Lash Glue and it is a liquid magnetic eyeliner. So it's both a glue and an eyeliner and honestly, I'm impressed. They they were so e so much easier to apply as I'm sure you guys have already noticed whether I have mentioned it or not. Lashes are not my forte, so hopefully my lashes are not like all over the place, but this just made it a lot easier to apply. So now we're gonna go with foundation and I will be using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this is the dewy version. I typically stay away now from matte foundation. So that is why, and the shade might be a little bit darker because we stayed away from the sun this summer. And now I'm just going, I'm blending it already with the Real Techniques newest sponge. It is so good. I really, really, really enjoyed this sponge. Um, ever since I tried it, I won't stop using it. I, I have a lot of other sponges, but after I use this one, I'm like, uh, nope. I'm gonna just continue using this one and more than likely continue, say, continue repurchasing it as well. Uh, it's been a while since I've used any of the real techniques um, sponges, so I really wouldn't be able to tell you if it really is much different. I do find it to be more, you know, like bouncy. So if you don't like the stiffness of the other sponges, you might want to check this one out. Um, it does suck in a lot of product, but I feel like that happens with a lot of the um, sponges anyway. So I just thought it would be worth mentioning it. I love this foundation. It's so affordable. The coverage is beautiful and it just lasts all day. It stays in place. It's amazing. On like, I just love it. I really, really, really do enjoy it. For concealer, I will be going with Revlon. This is the Candid Concealer. I know I recently used it in my channel, but um, I really liked it. So of course I will be using it again. And I'm just gonna go back with the same sponge and just quickly blend it out. For bronzer, I will be going with Personas and this is in the shade Sahara, and this is their bronze multi-stick. Now, this shade is actually a little bit too dark for me, so what I will be doing is I will be grabbing a little bit of it with my sponge. For blush, I will be going with the Clueless palette and this is from Hip Dog as well. And I haven't used it before. It comes with four beautiful shades. Um, the first one is definitely a little bit too pink for me. So I think I'm gonna go with a mix of this two. And it does have a beautiful mirror on the bottom. So cute, isn't it? So that's perfect because I'll be able to use it tap off the excess So what I did, I went ahead and used the same shade from the NYX palette that I used at the very beginning. I put that on my lower lash line and I also used a black liner. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my makeup with the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. Okay, so now I'm gonna let that dry for a couple of minutes 
and I'm also gonna go with a mascara and this is the one from Joa Beauty this is the Lash Up Rising Lash Up Rising Oof, it is a it has a very chunky brush look at that and I'm just going to put a little bit of I am first going to line my lips, yes, remember. So I am going to use the St. Lux. I know this is the lip, the lip liner that I use very often. And the reason is because I don't have a lot of lip liners. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this one. Now for lipstick, I will be using this lipstick that is part of the Adams Family Collection. This is in the shade Cleopatra. Oh, look. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Look at that design. It's so pretty. It's a rose in a scissor cutting the stem. So buttery. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Obsessed, absolutely. I even had to go to the bathroom and kind of try to curl the little bit of my hair because I'm like, well, hello there. Where have you been? Like, seriously, that's how I feel right now. Especially if I was dressed even nicer. Oh my God. So anyway, this is the end of this video, just in case I wasn't clear. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. As usual, creating and posting one video per week. I thank you so much for watching my videos and for taking that time. I really thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I hope that you are able to learn something and if not, at least just have fun watching a makeup tutorial because I definitely enjoy watching makeup tutorials from other creators. So if you have an account that you would like me to check out, please leave it in the comments so that we can follow and support each other. So that's all that I have for today and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.